Autumn is finally here, and that means sweater weather and a fresh new crop of really great reads. First up, we have The Book of Two Ways by Jody Picou. Everything changes in a single moment for Dawn Edelstein. She's on a plane when the flight attendant makes an announcement, prepare for a crash landing. As she braces herself, she realizes that her thoughts are not of her husband, but a man that she last saw 15 years ago. Wyatt Armstrong. After the crash landing, the airline offers the survivors transportation to wherever they want to go. The obvious option for Dawn is to go home to her family, but it seems like fate is offering her a second chance to reconnect with Wyatt and their unresolved history, and maybe even complete her research on the Book of Two Ways, the first known map of the afterlife. As the story unfolds, Dawn's two possible futures unspool side by side, along with the secrets and doubts that have been long buried, and Dawn must confront the questions she's never truly asked. Next up is When No One Is Watching by Alyssa Cole. Sydney Green is Brooklyn born and raised, but her beloved neighborhood seems to change every time she blinks. Condos are sprouting up like weeds, for sale signs are popping up overnight, and the neighbors that she's known all her life are disappearing. To hold on to her community's past and present, Sydney channels her frustration into a walking tour and finds an unlikely and unwanted assistant in one of the new arrivals to the block, her neighbor, Theo. But Sydney and Theo's deep dive into history quickly becomes a dizzying descent into paranoia and fear. Their neighbors may not have moved to the suburbs after all, and the push to revitalize the community may be more deadly than advertised. When does coincidence become conspiracy? Where do people go when gentrification pushes them out? Can Sydney and Theo trust each other or themselves long enough to find out before they too disappear? Next up is Dear Anne by Bobby Ann Mason. When she moves away from rural Kentucky for graduate school in the tumultuous 1960s, Anne's looking for more than just an education. She wants to find the one, and she finds it in Jimmy, a lovable misfit from Chicago. Anne and Jimmy bond through music and literature and their own quirkiness, diving headfirst into what seems to be a perfect relationship. But with the Vietnam War looming and the country in turmoil, their future is uncertain. Many years later, Anne recalls this time of innocence as she faces another life crisis. Seeking escape from her problems, she tries to imagine where she might be if she had chosen differently all those years ago. Dear Anne is the wrenching story of one woman's life and the choices she's made and how consideration of the road not taken can illuminate and perhaps overtake our present. And now Nick Hornby, Just Like You. Lucy used to handle life according to the script she'd been handed. She met a guy just like herself, same age, same background, same hopes and dreams. They got married and started a family. It's a shame he made her so miserable. Fast forward two decades, she's nearly divorced, 41-year-old schoolteacher with two school-aged sons, and there's no script anymore. So when she meets Joseph, she isn't looking for love. She's more in the market for a babysitter. Joseph is 22, lives at home with his mother, works several jobs, including the butcher counter where he and Lucy meet. It's not a match anyone could have predicted. He's from a different class, a different culture, and a different generation. This warm, wise, highly entertaining 21st century love story is about what happens when the person who makes you the happiest is someone you never expected. Anxious People by Frederick Bachman when a failed bank robber bursts into an apartment showing and takes everyone hostage, a real cast of characters reveals some surprising truths about themselves and each other. As we get to know the hostages, the responding officers, and the perpetrator, we realize that nothing is ever as it appears on the surface. This is a tightly knit, surprise-filled narrative with brisk, absorbing action, prompting meditation on marriage, parenting, responsibility, and global economic pressures. There's comedy, drama, mystery, and some sociology focusing on how a shared event can change the course of multiple people's lives, even in times of deep and ongoing anxiousness.
and last but certainly not least, One by One by Ruth Ware. Getting snowed in at a luxury mountain chalet doesn't sound terrible. In fact, it sounds like a stroke of luck, especially when there's a breathtaking vista, a cozy fire, and company to keep you warm. But what happens when that company is eight of your co-workers and you can't trust any of them? What happens when the other guests start turning up dead? When a company retreat meant to promote mindfulness and collaboration goes utterly wrong and an avalanche hits, the corporate food chain becomes irrelevant and survival trumps togetherness. Come Monday morning, how many members short will the team be? This is a gripping thriller and it shows how toxic workplace culture can get and will keep you guessing through the very last page. So slip into something cozy and prepare yourself for a really great read. Enjoy.